All right. Cycle 27. Beautiful long weekend Friday. This one here, I didn't have to think very long about what I was going to do with it. When I looked at this, I thought, okay, he's not, this character's not in a walking pose, this little kind of buffalo dinosaur alligator thing. And I'm not going to try and turn it into a walk if all the four legs are, you know, in the same place there. So what is he doing? Well, he could just be kind of bouncing around dancing, but within about five seconds, I thought, no, he's got to be jumping up and down with a lot of overlap. So I'm deciding whether the back legs are gonna punch, push off first and then the front legs, or the front legs push off first and the back legs. It'd be more natural for the front legs to push off, but that being said, that makes me wanna go in the opposite direction, I think. So we'll see how that works out. I think that, uh, I think I'm gonna go pretty high with the jump here. Most of the cycles I've done have been uh, relatively horizontal, so I've taken uh, advantage of the space over here. A couple times I've went above this area, but most of the time I'm just staying in here, going over here, going over here. This time I think it's gonna be very different. I'm going to be almost exclusively in this space here. So that's uh, that's gonna be interesting, it's gonna be different. I have to, I uh, turn the uh, pixel size of my pen down <clears throat> to uh, 11. I usually go with uh, 12, sometimes 13 pixels wide. Uh, this is 11 here. I mean, you're not going to see too much difference, but it does have a different feel when I have the thicker pixels or the thinner pixels. It uh, just gives me a sense of like, how hard I can push on the screen to get the thinner and thicker lines. So yeah, 11 is going to be my key here, I think. I might even have to drop down to 10 if I can't get enough detail in because I'm doing it smaller, but we'll see as it goes. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm working at uh, 4K as well, and then I'm dumbing it down to 2K because I find when I draw in 2K, uh, then my pixel size is like five or six and then I start getting too much granularity Like if I go down to five here and you zoom into it. It's like ah that looks kind of gross But uh, the uh, you know 11 anything above 10 seems to work nicely when you zoom out to it. So Anyway, that's technical specifications. Let's get down to it. See how this uh, looks in two hours <laughs> Okay, so about two hours and 15 there in total. That, uh, that was pretty fun. I wrote down a few notes for myself just so I could uh, remember. About two, three drawings in, I realized I wasn't, uh, I wasn't going high enough. And I was thinking, I've got all this space, I have to use this space. And uh, I started shifting the drawings up and starting to stretch it further. And then by about drawing six or seven, I got too high. And it was like, ah, crap, I'm, the foot's going to go off the top of the screen here. Okay, uh, I have to adjust that. So it was interesting. I, I was uh, thinking I wasn't making use of the space, and then it turned out I was making too good of the use of the space. I started speeding up around drawing seven or eight. I was behind on the first six drawings. I'd done them. I was taking about 12 minutes of drawing. And then I did one in like eight or nine minutes, and I was like, oh, it was going well. And then it slowed back down again. I was having a lot of fun with the arms and the legs on uh, drawings 9, 10, 11. That's when, I, uh, that's, that's when I was starting to really slow down. And one thing, uh, one of the attributes or qualities or uh, <laughs> features, let's say, of uh, drawing straight to clean is you have to think about everything in layers and you have to draw what's closest first. When you're roughing things out, you don't have to think about what's behind. You just draw through. You draw the leg that's behind the body. You draw the head in front of the body. You just draw everything and then you clean it up later. But this, I have to think about what's in front, what's gonna be behind that, what's gonna be behind that. 
and that's uh yeah that's 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 i think it's a good mind uh, process for uh keeping the brain active and then the last thing is i think uh, on that drawing uh, 11 going into 12 there i really had to smear it to match back up to my cycle it was it was pretty far off and i know i have some volume changes there but i think the tail worked out pretty well the head is kind of weird and the arms are kind of well they're very cheated the way they had to smear back to the ground but just the way around drawing nine or ten with the tail it was i was looking at where i was going to uh, hook up to the cycle and it looked like it was gonna hook up nicely so anyway all that being said let's just uh have a look at it here nice yes 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 that's what i had in mind very cool yeah i really was having some fun with the arms and legs like i say around drawing seven eight nine ten and uh, a lot of reversals going on there yeah the tail worked out pretty much as i'd hoped yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, there's one drawing where it's a little bit too straight, but uh, the, in, overall the curve is following through. The head is working actually better than I thought. I, that drawing 11 is still popping a little bit, but overall I've got some nice squashy stretchiness on the head there. The angle change is working pretty well with the nose coming up in front of the eyes. And the, the feet are kicking up when I was getting them near the top. That was... Uh, <laughs> Couple drawings there were just like, well, I just have to fit it in here. This is all I've got room for. And if I'd had more space, I would have done a different pose. But uh, it looks nice. It worked out well. Very good, very good. All right, that's drawing 27, or cycle 27, which means I have, uh, what, 53 to go? 43 to go. And yeah, this is working well. This is uh, every, every cycle gives me a new. A new idea, a new process, a new, uh, it pushes, pushes what I'm able to do further going straight to clean. It makes me more ambitious every time. And from this initial drawing I'd done, I never would have thought when I did this drawing in my sketchbook a few months ago that I'd end up with something like this out of that drawing because it was a pretty mundane drawing, all four legs just put together. But this is, uh, this is the power of uh, breakdowns between uh, two poses. All right. Cycle 27, thanks for checking it out, and uh, see you next time. Take care.